Hello everyone, Okayanska here, and welcome to a brand new tutorial. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how I made an E to enter car script for my friend. Uh, it's a lot of basic stuff, but it's a lot to go through, so we'll be going pretty fast. Alright, let's get started. So, the first thing I went ahead is just opened up my toolbox and entered some cars into the workspace. And I renamed both of them and made sure both of them had a drive seat in them. And I'm going to go ahead and make a new folder called vehicles and going to place those into the folder. Again, make sure each vehicle has a drive seat in it or a vehicle seat rather. Next, I'm going to be adding a billboard GUI to one of the uh, seats. Uh, this is just so I can see what it looks like while, uh, as I make it. I'm going to be entering a frame into a billboard GUI named car enter GUI and then I'll be adding a text label into that frame. I have a bunch of settings uh, that I used. I have them on screen here. Uh, so feel free to copy exactly what I put or make your own however you feel. <music> Lastly, once I'm done with that, I'm going to go ahead and take it out and put it into the replicated storage. And next we're going to make a new script, local script, inside of starter character scripts. And I'm just going to call it enter car. I'm going to start off by getting the replicated storage and player sto uh, services, the car enter GUI that we've got before, the character, and some three uh, control variables, what I like to call control variables. Uh, one called closest vehicle, one called GUI, and one called current seat. I'm just going to call, put all of them in one line, like so. Uh, it means the same exact thing, it's just a uh, little bit in one line. And then I'm going to make a new function called toggle GUI, given a toggle state. Uh, this is just going to uh, delete whatever the current GUI is. And if toggle is equal to true, we'll copy a new GUI and put it in the closest vehicle, uh, vehicle seat. Of course, we don't know what the closest vehicle is, or the script doesn't know what it is, so we need to make a new uh, function to figure out what that closest vehicle is. So I, up at the top, I put run service, game get service run service, and on the render step event, I connect a new function. Uh, I place down a max distance and a new closest vehicle control variable, and then I'm going to iterate through workspace.vehicles get children. And uh, I'm gonna get the vehicle, each vehicle, and I'm gonna I'm gonna look if uh, the vehicle's drive seat dot position minus the character dot humanoid root part dot position dot magnitude, which is gonna end up being the distance between the two, is that less than the max distance, less than or equal to. And I'm also gonna make sure that that vehicle's uh, drive seat is not occupied. by doing not vehicle that drive seat that occupant. Then I'm going to take the max distance and just copy the magnitude from before. So we have a new temporary max distance and set the new closest vehicle to that vehicle. When that iteration for loop is done, I'm just going to set the closest vehicle to the new closest vehicle and I'm going to run if closest vehicle and not current seat then set run the toggle GUI with a uh, toggle set to true or uh, else run it with false. Of course we don't know what the current seat is so later we'll be adding a function to tell uh, what the current seat is. I want the current seat to be whatever the players currently sitting in if they are in a seat. If they are not in a seat it will be set to nil. So up here at the top, I'm going to enter a new event uh, connected to the humanoid. It turns out to be character.humanoid.seated. And I'm going to connect that to a new function. And the seated event carries two arguments, uh, the active and the current seat part. Active is basically just a boolean, so we can do if active, then current seat is equal to current seat part, else current seat is equal to nil. Lastly, I'm going to import the user input service. And 
and I'm going to go ahead and grab the input began event, connect that to a function, and if the input that key code is equal to e, then we'll go ahead and say if GUI exists, then I'll take the GUI.parent and sit in it, which is the drive seat. Uh, else, if I'm currently in a seat, then we'll eject my character from a seat by doing current seat sit nil, and then move my character a little bit with some C frame after a wait. Lastly, I just put a humanoid that died a event connection to destroy the script when a character dies to prevent some bugs. All right, now to test what I made, um, I go ahead and just make sure that each player has their own billboard GUI, as you can see. It changes depending on which which one you're closest to for each player. If both of them are looking at one and then one jumps in, uh, then the other one can no longer jump in that car. So only one, one car per player. Uh, I drive around a little bit and just make sure I actually jump out of the car using E. I'm not hitting space to leave the car. So I have E to eject and enter the car. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. As always, be sure to subscribe for more content and join my Discord below to download all the code and project files for all of my tutorials.